guys. Thanks for coming to the seminar. Um, hope you guys, uh, there you go. Hey, man. <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what a good seminar today. Robin's, uh, what's you guys, who's been to Robin's seminar before? Excellent. Newer guys. That's a good sign they came back. That's <laughs> Yeah, you guys have a good time. I've known Robin for a long time. Uh, I since I started training jiu-jitsu. He was a uh, what, third degree brown belt when I first met him. With three purple belts next to him. It was almost like he was uh, Genghis Khan with his troops coming into the school. It's like, ah, brown belt, oh my gosh. And uh, it was awesome. So Robin's got a wealth of knowledge. I think you've uh, trained uh, with more black belts than I can even imagine. So going up to the ranks. His, uh, his works in Columbus and his professor's works with Jeff Hudson uh, helped procure this place here. So technically all of you here are a product of Robin, who is a product of Jeff. We were talking last night extensively over Jeff Hudson and uh, you guys ever have a chance to meet the guy. He's, uh, I think he's an outstanding individual. He's a great understanding, right? Yes. Uh, very great man, good family man. He's, uh, he's the reason why jiu-jitsu exists in Ohio as strong as it does. Yeah, absolutely. He helped create Robin, who Robin up in turn helped build me up to help build you guys up. So I have tons of respect for Robin. Take it away, boss. All right. So um, we were talking yesterday about like what to cover, what to go over. I always, in a seminar, I always like uh, to cover things that are um, beneficial for everyone. So I want to make sure that I'm, um, you know, showing something that can help the black belts improve, but also at the same time, uh, you know, uh, something that's universal for the white belts as well. Uh, I think that's the most helpful. I think that, um, you know, uh, jiu-jitsu is very, very complex, but at the same time, it's very simple, right? So meaning that I can teach you fundamentals and they can teach you the basics of jiu-jitsu, it's up to you at some point to find your style, right? Everybody has their own own style. Like Marcelo Garcia can't teach you how to fight like Marcelo Garcia. He can show you what he does, but you're never going to fight like him. You have to find out, you have to discover how to fight like you, right? And everything can, can really influence your jiu-jitsu. Everything from your personality. Like I'm a very laid back person, so I became very... Uh, um, very defensive at first, right? And that's actually, it was by necessity, really, because I, I didn't have a, a good physicality. You know, when I started, I was, even though I'm standing in front of you and I'm six foot four, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I, I was a skinny guy. I was like 173 pounds soaking wet at six foot four. Um, all the way up to the brown belt. I was a middleweight to the brown belt. Uh, I joked that I hit puberty at 30, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, you know, it was, um, you know, for me, I, I didn't I didn't submit somebody in class for seven months, and that was a 15 year old kid. And I was I went home like giddy because that, that 15 year old kid was, that kid was kicking the crap out of me for months, right? Because jujitsu works. We were just talking about like it just it just works, right? I mean, white belt pulls off the move perfectly. It's gonna work, right? And that's the beauty of it. It's it's fantastic. And uh, so, you know, if you are struggling at the beginning, especially at the white belt level, and you're like, man, I'm never gonna get good at this, you will, I promise you, just don't quit. That's, that's the key. If you don't quit, at some point, it's, you keep going, you keep training, the belts are, are a consequence of the training. I, I never thought that black belt was a possibility. Um, I re I really, I just wanted to be a blue belt, because I, I just didn't want to be white belt. You know, so, right? nobody wants to be a white belt. I mean, you don't want to be a white belt, right? Like, you're accepting it, right? You're like, I'm, I'm not going to quit. I've got three stripes. I know I keep going, right? And that's the thing. You just you keep training. Forget about the belts. That comes as a consequence of the training and the, and the, 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 the stick to itiveness and the, um, all, the, all the things that you gain as you're going through. Like, you could probably ask the, the brown belts up here. Yes, does it matter? Do they want a black belt at some point? Yeah, you probably do, right? Yeah. You know, you do, but is that why you come? Is that why you train? No, you figure that out somewhere around here. You're like, ah, it doesn't matter that much. And at some point you're getting this like, oh shoot. Like the fourth strike, I call that the old crap strike. <laughs> Only one place to go, right? 
So um, anyway, I want to start with a basic movement drill um, that everybody can kind of follow, and then we're going to tie it. We're going to kind of connect that to what we're doing on the ground. Uh, and I want to make sure that we have a little bit of time for some question and answer. If you guys have anything that you want to you want to cover after that, so um, the first thing I'm going to do actually, could I borrow one of you guys to hold that for me? I'm going to I'm going to utilize my wife here since she already knows what I'm going to start with. Maybe. <coughs> this is my wife, by the way. Mandy. I can't wait the screen. I, I always introduce her as Amanda, but she, there you go. the screen will go black. Mandy. But as long as you're holding it. <laughs> you got this. You got this after five minutes of having right. face. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you're all familiar with this position, open guard position. All right. The main objective. We talked about this a little bit last night. Is that you, when you're on the bottom, the game that we play. The main objective with the game that we play, guard passing. Well, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the striking aspect. I'm talking about just gi, no gi, grappling. What is it that we're really trying to, to do when we, when we play this game, okay, when we're not striking each other? The main objective, what you're really developing is your ability to keep your legs between you and, and your opponent. So if she finds herself in the bottom and she can keep her guard, right, effectively against a purple belt, how likely is she able to keep her legs between her and her opponent in the real fight? Make sense? You want those things to be intuitive. So it becomes very dynamic and uh, it's probably the most dynamic position we have in Jiu Jitsu is the open guard. Right? The least amount of contact, but there is some contact, right? Side control, pretty pretty, you know, pretty connected. Mount, same thing. Back mount. You know? So this open guard position becomes very, very dynamic and can change very quickly. So the ability to keep our legs between us and our opponent is primary and it has to be reflexive. Okay? So we're gonna start with just this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab her leg and I'm going to swing her leg across like this. Now, you should notice what she just did, okay? All right, how many of you guys are familiar with this movement? Good, okay, so she's going to push a little bit with that leg, she's going to replace, she come back. I'm going to grab this leg, I'm going to swing it across. She's going to swing the leg across, freeze, okay? Right here, she's giving resistance. So when you're on the top, just don't, don't play this game, like, right? You have to be somewhat realistic in your movement. So I have to give her some pressure, okay, for her to move off of and be realistic, because why, why would I be doing this in a fight? It's because I want to solve this problem, right? So that's, that's what's gonna happen in the fight. Learning happens in the fight. In the midst of the fight, it will happen, right? I could hold my seven-year-old out like a, what's the, what's the, the little rascal, you know what I'm talking about? The, the help you get out, it's like swinging like this, right? Okay? Person in the fight is not gonna do this longer than once or twice. Okay? They realize, I can't reach this person. Solve the problem. Ah. You see? Right? So we have to have this capability. Now we're going to talk about how this applies to the ground in a minute in a, in a more strategic passing situation. But right now, all we're going to do is grab one leg, pull it across the body. Now what she's doing is she's stiffening up this side of her body, okay, and allowing me to move her. Okay, now she's gonna push, replace that foot, and come back. So the arch of your foot, you should feel the hip bones pretty much right there. So this comes, the feet are kind of like, like this, right across the belt. Everybody follow? So I can drive, hold me here. I can drive into her as hard as I want. And at some point, she may slide across the mat, but I'm not getting closer, all right? Very powerful position, all right? So once again, pull. You see her hips swivel, she pushes. You have to create that distance. Push, replace, come back. Everybody follow? Okay. Let's do that three to five times each, and then switch, okay? Do it a few times, get comfortable to move it, we'll come back. Cool? Okay. One, two, three. 